food allergies affect up to 9% of North Americans. Approximately 60% of recalls in Canada are due to undeclared allergens or gluten. Food allergens and gluten are proteins that can trigger an immune response in sensitive persons. The amount of allergen needed to trigger this response varies, but even 1 800th of a peanut is enough for some people to have a fatal reaction. This is why accurate testing is so critical. Health Canada has defined 10 priority food allergens. Peanuts, tree nuts, milk, eggs, fish and seafood, soy, wheat, sesame, mustard and sulfites. Developing a good allergen management program with effective testing can greatly reduce the chance of putting your customers and your business at risk. It is your responsibility as a food manufacturer to accurately identify and control allergens in your facility. Testing will help you identify potential sources of allergen cross-contamination on equipment and confirm that allergens were removed by your cleaning methods and controlled by your operational procedures. There are two stages of testing in allergen management programs. First, you validate that your procedures are effective at removing the targeted allergen every time. Then you verify, on a regular basis, that your approved cleaning procedures are being followed. Examples of methods commonly used for validation include ELISA and DNA testing. ELISA-based tests are the most commonly used allergen detection method. When antibodies react with the target protein, they produce a color change which measures the amount of the allergen. ELISA tests, such as LFIA, are available in the marketplace for implant testing. These tests involve one step and are relatively easy to use. However, they are not suitable for all applications. Consult with your vendor on what tests would work best for your product. DNA testing can detect the presence of multiple allergens with a single extraction, but can't be used to quantify the amount of each allergen. DNA testing can be used for most processed products, but is not recommended for fermented and acidic foods. This test is costly, time-consuming, and requires specialized equipment. These testing methods can be used for validation and verification. Tests for verification need to be done more often, so it can become costly. However, there are more cost-effective tests for verification. Let's look at two options. ATP is commonly used to support a company's sanitation program. When ATP is detected, it means that organic matter is present on the surface tested. ATP does not detect specific proteins, but can be used as an indicator that the surface is free from protein residue. High sensitivity total protein tests are a viable testing option. These tests can detect very low levels of total protein. They are not allergen specific and are therefore limited to verification testing. Testing is critical. Using the appropriate test will minimize the risk of product recall and reduce the risk to your customer's health. If you need assistance to determine what method of testing is best for you, contact the Food Safety Division at 310 Farm. More information about testing is available on Alberta Agriculture's Food and Health webpage.